What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video where we are focusing on the Town Hall 10 Lava Loon attack. Each of these replays are from Elite Gaming's Clash Cup League Week 2 victory over One Hive 2.0. If you are interested in trying out for Elite Gaming, everything you need to know is on the screen there right now. Checking out this first play base, you can see air defense pushed to one side and both Inferno Towers over on the northeast of the base, they are your prime target at Town Hall 10. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Clash of Clans but getting into this first one we're going to start with a suicide balloon attempt here coming in taking out an arch tower but what we're doing is creating a path towards the inferno tower that is the important thing here what you will see is minions coming in to help create this funnel then we will make a push with the heroes so i've said it before guys in my videos you really want to try and have a bit of a kill squad if you can for one inferno tower and then you can kind of pin your attack your main strategy in this case the lava loon onto that second inferno tower because they will wreck your troops if you're not careful guys so in he comes here with the king and the queen just again chipping away a path towards that inferno tower and we have a couple of wizards there just behind the king whilst they're being tanked for the king obviously tanks for quite some time so it'd be a shame not to use a high damage troop behind him wall breakers very nicely open that compartment for the queen to just slot in there take down that inferno tower and she's just about not going to be able to get in there and get the enemy queen but as you can see we now have the path created towards that other inferno tower which the lava loon can then be kind of focused around in terms of spells but looking at this two ways you could bring lava hounds in from that other angle but they'd run right the way ahead of the balloons towards the inferno tower at the uh, past the inferno tower sorry towards the air defense at the bottom so what we're going to do is rush heavily from the bottom really get them balloons up next to the um lava hounds in order to get up towards that other inferno tower pretty quickly notice that sneaky archer which draws that golem and balloon out to the side very clever there just so that it doesn't really affect the lava loon portion the troops aren't going to get caught up on it again check out all of the haste spells really pushing the balloons up and it's just a mass spread of spells at this point we need them to keep up with them lava loon with the lava hounds sorry and then before you know it the balloons are there they're on the inferno tower and it is down guys spells very nicely used obviously didn't need them in that opening part of the raid just to get in there and get that first inferno with the suicide heroes the spells could be utilized on that lava loon portion and that is a common theme actually throughout these attacks just take note of that you'll see how quickly the balloons can wreck bases when you have them haste spells and rage spells right over the top uh, over the top so an amazing three star attack there to start out then we have the cleanup phase in terms of lava pups minions the whole works in order to get this base down we have a few other lava loon attacks we do have more replays coming guys from this war very busy at the moment so i do apologize on the delay in getting this out but elite gaming took the second victory here that's two out of two in the clash cup league now it's right on to focusing in the cwl but moving on to the next attack here again you can see air defense a little bit further apart on this base but the inferno towers again space that little bit apart from each other we're going to come in and as you can see focus on the one in the south here leaving the one in the north where we can then focus that main attack around so a bowler king again tanking for the wizards to create that funnel and again we're just opening up a path towards the inferno you don't necessarily even need to get it with your kill squad but you need to have a way for your balloons or miners or whatever attack strategy you're using to path directly to it in this case though the queen stepping up taking that down obviously if you can it's always best to get it out the way with your kill squad she's then going to move forward take out the cc here as well a lava hound can be a little bit troublesome but again you can just use an archer to pull it out to the side um 
it's really towards the end of the raid that it would start to ruin things. Pushing in heavy again towards these air defences. Notice the archer towers here are, you know, all within range of the air defence. Very nice use of the skeleton spells over the top of the queen. Didn't take her down as part of the kill squad because the inferno tower was more important. You can kind of kill the queen a little bit easier on the way there with the skeleton spells. As the balloons move forward towards this other inferno tower then, we're springing in balloons from the side because we want that core group of balloons to pass straight to the inferno. You don't want them moving out to the side of the base there trying to get the defences on the perimeter. That's why you reinforce it with the balloons on the outside and again, that rage spell ever so important over the top of that inferno tower. His spells really just helping to keep them up with the lava hounds as best as possible but then race them over the top of the defences. You really don't need too much in terms of damage boost for the balloons it's really getting them over that defense which is the important thing you can see the lava hound they're still working on the skeletons and um you know, it's not really going to do much in terms of these lava lunar attacks. It really is towards the end of the raid. If your lava pups were to get caught up on it, that's where that archer can really help just to draw it out to the side and get rid of it. But on to clean up then, again, with the mass amount of spells across this base, the balloons took it down so quickly that the cleanup phase really isn't a worry. But again, guys, just make note of how many troops you're going to have left over and what you can do to help with that cleanup phase. In this case, plenty of lava pups and balloons left over but let's move on to the next one i should have said as well guys we actually have a dragon attack which is going to feature right at the end because it was another amazing town hall 10 three stars so many of them actually in this war and um i i felt it needed to be shown but the video is entitled lava loon so that's what we're showing here first check out this base very very different in terms of design we have the inferno towers kind of inviting us in but a lot of damage in that area as well plenty of troops the baby dragons very nicely creating that funnel queen stepping up here to really try and get in and get them infernos would be certainly nice to get them both down as to as part of a kill squad sorry but um really if we can get one of them again it is then that you know we can then just focus on one of them with the balloon portion so she is going to take one of them down on the right very unfortunate not to get the one on the left but again we can pass straight to it check that out a haste spell is going to push balloons straight onto that inferno tower we do not have to worry in the slightest it does mean that we need to push the balloons right towards these lava hounds because again air defenses over the other side of the base the balloons are going to be temporarily exposed there but the haste spells Look, just look at how quick it gets the balloons over the top and next to them lava hounds where they're again protected and the rage spells just help to demolish this base. I mean look at how close the defences are together and how tightly compact they are. Might have been a nice base for hog riders as well because of that. But the balloons, once they're over the top, look at the spell coverage again. The defences are down in a flash. Only ground defences left now, which obviously with so many balloons left over is not an issue. But we have minions getting spread around the outside of the map to help with cleanup. Obviously plenty of lava pups and plenty of balloons as well in order to help take down the rest of this base. You can see there in the middle, that's where the lava pups can get caught onto that lava hound it can waste valuable time and when that lava hound bursts obviously them other lava pups are going to start taking out your own so just make sure guys that you are not you know ruining your raid because of that so another fantastic three star attack there this was a brilliant war for elite gaming again if you're interested in joining guys the discord information was in the start of the video Another Lava Loon attack here before we move on to the Dragon attack. We do have the Inferno Towers again, just placed a little bit further apart. Air defense skewed, not so symmetrical across the base on this one, but again, targeting in towards one of the Inferno Towers. It's right next to the Arch Queen and CC in this one. So as the um, baby dragon comes in there, very nice to set off a couple of them traps. You do have to be careful around the inferno towers, guys. Obviously, if you've had a scout before, then it's fantastic. But around the inferno towers is going to be that area where you can kind of expect the red bombs where they do that splash damage just because it can be so devastating over the balloons when they're already getting hit from multiple angles because of that inferno tower. Again, kill squad on this one, not going to necessarily take it out, but look at the path that is being created where we can target straight onto that inferno tower we do not have to worry about balloons you know 
getting difficulty to get to the Inferno Tower really is what I'm trying to say. We know that we can tag them straight onto that Inferno Tower. We don't have to worry. Archers here are going to just nice and casually bring them CC troops across to the side. It can waste valuable time at the end of your raid. So make sure that you are taking care of that guys and just pulling them out to the side. Plenty of haste spells here. When the defenses at the bottom go down, you know that the balloons are moving into the core are going to go straight onto them inferno towers again rage spell and skeleton spell over the top of the queen here and as the balloons move in notice how the ones at the northeast there have kind of controlled the balloons in the core here a little bit as they move straight across to that sweeper and then they're going to move left straight towards that inferno tower so the balloons because you had such a wide spread again that's what i was trying to explain before you need to control the pathing to the core and what you need so the balloons were passed straight to the core to the two inferno towers on this raid because we had balloons on the perimeter taking out the defense that's that whole clockwise counterclockwise motion of the lava loon attack and why it works so well once you've kind of picked off a corner of the base you can then take out the perimeter uh, um, defenses the defenses around the perimeter sorry of the rest of the base meanwhile the rest of your balloons have them rage spells and the extra damage there right over the core to get down the main defenses so a couple of very impressive town hall 10 three star attacks let me know guys what's your favorite strategy for town hall 10 I'm a big fan of the dragons. You guys know I am, so I am going to bring this one as well. I know it's a Lava Loon video, but it was very impressive. Some might argue that you could Lava Loon this as well because of the position of the air defense and how, really, how we're able to get the dragons to work here is because we can take advantage of the air defense and take them down. What you do need to be careful for with the dragons is that you don't run out of time. So check out all of the trash buildings at the bottom here as well. There's a lot of them and we're just going to send bowlers in at the bottom there. In order to take down some of this, you don't want your dragons getting pinned up on all these trash buildings. What you want is them to focus into the middle where them defenses are. So very nice to get a couple of chip shots onto that air defense at the very north then the zap quake combination can take down both of them up there whilst the king and queen can just slot in and take down the two at the bottom here that means that for the dragons yes we have the archer towers and a bit more point defense but then multi-target infernos although they're a big threat for the lava loon they're not going to do nothing to the dragons so very nice funnel being created with the king around the outside here whilst the queen has that wall open and she's going to walk straight in take down them two air defense absolutely no problem the dragons then as you can see we've taken out the trash buildings on the bottom you can see that they're going to move straight into the core of the base here right into the heart of the defenses where we have the rest of our spells remaining three rage spells because the dragons unlike the balloons they do obviously a lot less damage so you actually want to use the rage spells to maximize damage whereas since the balloons do so much damage you actually want to utilize the haste spells to get them over the defenses so here we are then just a couple of balloons just to help get over the top of them defenses Take out a couple of the air bombs, always nice to do as well, because the balloons do tend to get a little bit ahead of the dragons, since they are the defense targeting troops, set off them air bombs, and if they do get over any of the defenses, they're obviously going to take them down pretty quick. Couple of balloons on the outside there, just very nicely steer the dragons away from that corner where there's nothing to worry about, there's only cannons, the very high HP town hall, so that was very nicely planned to keep the dragons on track towards the inferno tower and the remaining defences that can actually do damage on them, i.e. the archer towers on the back end. So very much like the lava loon portion that we were talking about, controlling the balloons to the centre and the heavy hitting defences, you want to do the same for any strategy really what is the main threat to your strategy and if you're going for the three star then you have to take down that threat as soon as possible your main plan needs to revolve around it so you can see a couple of balloons did come in to take out them cannons and a few dragons did stray off that way but we've already taken down that main defense in the middle dragons going to take out them archer towers as well and then the rest of them will clean up this base to wrap up another Town Hall 10 3 star attack. So I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Elite Gaming again, second victory. Massive props to these guys. And uh, you can expect a lot more impressive attacks to come. But that wraps it up for this one. I've been your host, Judo Sloth. Peace out, guys.